In order to be able to talk about the transitive closure of a relation, we're going to have to understand composition of relations first. Let R be a relation from X to Y. And let S be a relation from Y to Z. Then their composition, RS, is a relation from X to Z consisting of the pairs X, Z, where there is a Y such that X is related to Y in R and Y is related to Z in S. We use exponential notation to define the composition of a relation with itself. For example, R squared is the relation R composed with R. Let's suppose that we have the set ABC called X, the set 0, 1 called Y, and Z is the set W, X, Y, Z. R relates A to 0 and B to 0, B to 1 and C to 1. S relates 0 to W, 0 to X, 1 to Y, and 1 to Z. So we would like to know what is the composition RS? One way to calculate RS is to draw a diagram of all of the involved sets. So here we picture the sets X, Y, and Z. The relation R relates A and B to 0 and B and C to 1. Meanwhile, the relation S takes 0 to W and X in Z, and it takes 1 to Y and to Z. RS is going to consist of the pairs in X and Z where I can draw a direct path from the element of X to the element of Z. For example, since I can get from A to 0 to W, the pair AW is going to be in the relation RS. Therefore, RS consists of the pairs A, W, A, X, because 0 bridges A and W and X. B will be paired with everything in Z, because B is paired to everything in Y, and everything in Y can, can get to something in Z. And C will be paired to Y and Z via 1. At this point, you may be thinking, if the sets and the relations involved are very large, this diagram approach could become very cumbersome. Fortunately, we have an even easier approach, thanks to the Boolean matrices we invented. Here are the matrices for the relations R and S. R has the matrix 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, which is a 3 by 2 matrix because the three elements of X are given to the two elements of Y. S has the 2 by 4 matrix 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Their product, which exists, is going to be the 3 by 4 matrix, which we can calculate to be 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video to make sure you agree with that product. If we look back at the relation RS, we realize that this is exactly the matrix for that relation. So we have the convenient fact, which was the whole point of Boolean multiplication in the first place, that when we multiply matrices for relations, we get the matrix for the composition of those relations.